Hey guys, what's up? How you doing guys? I am so excited to be back. Okay, so guys, I will not be screaming too much tonight because um, first of all, it's 3.15 a.m. And my kids are in the next room. I really don't want to wake them up. There's nobody here to take care of them for me. So if they wake, I will have to pause the video and go take care of them. So I'm not going to be screaming tonight, but I am going to be, you know, popping and telling you what to do as usual right okay so let's just go into it this will be a very short video because i mean like you, you nobody can tell you when the kids will wake up so let's make it as short as possible hey sexy moms i know a lot of you girls are here right now because you want to hear what laura has to say if today is your first time of coming to my channel please do not forget to press the subscribe button please 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 that shall know me please please, please. <laughs> press the subscribe button and do not forget to press the notification button because i want you to watch my video first every time i post a view because you're special and um like share and comment please help my career help my youtube career <laughs> don't mind me all right so thank you so much for coming back to my channel i see your comments likes and thank you so much you guys have been amazing today's topic is how to be a mom a good one at that and a badass influencer it is not as hard as people think it is. You have your kids, you're, you're probably married, or you're a single mom, you've got, you've got kids. Having kids, look, before you have kids, please get ready psychologically, emotionally, physically, and financially. Uh, it's a lot of work, it's a lot of work. You wanna think about it before you be it? You know? Number one, learn some skills slash do it yourself. So you want to learn some skills and learn to do it yourself. So for example, you're a beauty um, influencer. You don't want to call a makeup artist every time you want to shoot a video or advertise a product. You do not want to call a hairstylist every time you want to advertise a product or shoot a video. You do not want to call a professional photographer every time you have to do that. You need to learn yourself. It is less time consuming because once you do it yourself, you know when to edit it. You know the time the client wants it. You know how you're supposed to do it. Or you know that this is not perfect, this is not good, or you just, you just you do you, you're involved you're involved you do it well when you're involved so instead of employing a makeup artist every time you want to shoot a video go learn how to get your makeup done I started this video 3 15 a.m. That's, that was when I started um, shooting so I started my makeup an hour before I styled my hair myself does it not look like a professional styled my hair? Makeup. So I, I did all this myself because I know that there are days that I want to shoot at midnight. I can't call a makeup artist. So what do I do? How do I tell the client that, you know, I don't have anything to deliver? So once you learn to do it yourself, you'll be able to do two, three, four adverts every week. It will not be, you know, it will not be a headache. It won't be something that you're frustrated to do. You will not grumble because you've done it easy. Just number two patience with family and clients family should come first so um i was watching a video where an influencer was doing something and a kid entered that the room while when she was talking to people i think she was doing a live video so and a kid entered the room and she was like close the door for me can you see that i'm doing a video no no our kids are our lives you want to communicate with your kids you want to be patient um ryan Every time I'm shooting a video, please, can you not interrupt me? Ryan, what do you want? Are you fine? Are you okay? You can always cut this video and join them. You cannot deprive your child, you know, the access that he wants or she needs. Do you understand? If your child wants to talk to you, the child might actually really, really want to talk to you. And sometimes you see when I'm doing a live video, Ryan comes and asks me, you know, mommy, I want something. I just, I tell you guys, oh, I got to go. I need to go because my child comes first. When our kids are not happy, we are not happy. So you need to balance it. Sometimes the clients are crazy. They want their videos now. You know, you, you don't deliver the video. Please, you know, give us a refund. We want our money back, blah, blah, blah. Get a manager that can actually talk to this um, um, client. Please, sir, be patient. The video will be up soon. Please, sir, be patient. We will send you the video soon. Please, sir, be, just be, just, well, please, ma, be patient. Be patient with both your family and the clients. Know how to balance it. They all are important. Number three, 
you want to appeal to the younger generation. Kai, that generation is powerful. Our generation is very powerful. The younger generation would tell the older generation, like, Daddy, Mommy, this girl is the bomb. She's the one running online. Because a lot of our parents are not online. People who own, I don't think Mike Adenuka would be checking anybody's Instagram page. I don't think um, Dangote is checking anybody's Instagram page. But they have, like, if they want to sign an ambassador or they want to sign influencers, they have this generation of young people that work with them. So they always seek opinion from them. So who should we sign this year? Who should we work with this year? So if you don't appeal to the, that young generation, how do they recommend you? How do they, you know, put your name out there? How do they let this older generation know that you are the in thing right now? So, you know, all this classy, chill, you can do it. That's fine. That's fine. Your mom, you don't want to, you don't want to overdo it sometimes because you have kids. Da, da, da. That's fine. But make sure anything you do, if you want to be a working influencer, make sure you appeal to the younger generation make the younger generation know you and if possible love you up number four dedication you have to be dedicated to this whole you know world it's a new world it's beautiful if you like it to be beautiful for you sure. no advertiser is small no advertiser is superior over any other advertiser so i know a lot of people are like okay if it's nigerian brews we need to do it more we need to do it better oh but if it is one unknown uh, uh, supermarket please they just do it anyhow no all advertisers are equal so you got to be dedicated to your craft dedication means everything you do in everything you do you want to put your whole heart you want to put your soul you want to put everything your learning skills trying to edit videos yourself getting involved influencing is about recommendation once you do it well people will recommend you and you continue like you would not stop it's a, it's a circle you keep making money year in year out number five which is definitely not all i am so sure i'll do like a part two of this video i'm so sure so I, but number five is be as realistic as possible a lot of us influencers are not realistic at all because i've seen your red cards and i'm like what girl like your red some of your red cards are so ridiculous it's not about you having millions of followers you know are your followers active? Are people there? Are people commenting? Are people liking? Are people telling other people about you? Like that's what the advertisers want to know. You are not the only influencer and people can do without you. That's what you don't even understand. People can do, a lot of business can do without you. Do you understand? Why, why, would, I use, why would I use this girl? And um, this girl charging me this ridiculous amount of money when I can actually use the money she's charging me to pay like three, four influencers, you should be as realistic as possible. Now I'm gonna give you a quick bonus um, um, point. Um, this is quick, this is a quick one. Um, make sure you, you choose days that you wanna shoot weekly because of your kids, you know, because you have to prepare them for school, you have to feed them, you have to take them to grandma's. Yeah. But you don't wanna shoot seven days a week. So you want to choose a few days that are very convenient for you because I, I don't shoot seven days a week and most times I get jobs every day. So even if I get jobs on Monday and I don't shoot on Monday, I will not shoot. I wait till Tuesday or Wednesday when I get to shoot. So I, you want to be psychologically ready. You want to be, you know, you know, you want to be emotionally ready to be an influencer. You don't want to, you know, have all these things packed on you and then you're like, what was I thinking, you know? That's bonus. So that's it, guys. I told you I am going to do like uh, a part two for sure. I I I uh, think so. I'm gonna do a part two for sure. But thank you so much for watching my video. I know today was not you know very bubbly and ah ah, ooh, ah don't worry. I'll do it in subsequent videos. I'm just trying to you know keep it low, keep it low, <laughs> keep it low. I mean, I love you so much. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment. I love you so much. Mwah. God bless you. Bye. <laughs>